So, the best thing about studying my course at Oxford, I think, I just love the interdisciplinary interdisciplinarity of the course because nowhere else offers history and English where it kind of overlaps and you get to look at them both together and I've really enjoyed that so I did a bridge essay um, on so like motherhood as an experience and institution and then looking at texts by women uh, women life writers to illuminate that approach um, and sort of looking at historical experiences of motherhood and I think that was really interesting for me um, and it really illuminated the things I was looking at um, and the same I'm doing a, a joint dissertation um, so that I'm writing mine on East Africa um, and in the post-colonial period um, and I think that the text that I'm looking at and the novels I'm looking at really bring to life the history and I think it's that overlap that I, I apply to do um, and it's what I'm getting. Um, also I think the history side of uh, in Oxford offers you so much breadth and scope. Um, the modules are incredible. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, last term I did a paper on Africa um, from the 1800s to the present on transitions and transformations. At the moment I'm writing one essay where I look at uh, Mughal India, India, Japan and Africa all in one essay. Um, and next term I'm hoping to do an option where I look at film and literature and morality and so there's just so much going on all the time and you can have so much variety in one term um, that I just love because you can get your teeth into it and you're never doing one thing. Again it's the choice for me, I chose every single module of my final honour schools um, course, so second and third year I chose all by myself um, and I think that really helps you to enjoy it more and th feel like it's a, your own personalised degree. I study history and economics and the best thing about studying at Oxford is there's so much choice for what you can study. So you can study any historical period or place, it's all up to you, you get so much choice over it. For economics, there's loads of economics options that you can choose to take, you know, behavioural economics, development economics, industrial, whatever you want to take, it will be offered and it will be available. Also, you can choose the makeup of your degree, so you don't have to do sort of 50-50 history and economics, you can do 75-25 either way, you can do 50-50 if you want, there's just so much choice, you get so much control over your own degree and I really appreciated that.